everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 346. I'm Nate Moore. I worked this morning with the group that got a bunch of contract fee schedule information from a payer. It's kind of in Excel, but pretty hard to use. And with a little bit of time and effort and some formulas, we got in a format that's a lot easier to use to analyze their fee schedule and make progress. When you're ready to do the same thing with your Excel spreadsheets, I'd love to help you. Remember last time, what we did was we created what's called a single cell array formula. I've got a formula in here in one cell that multiplies everything in D2 by everything in column E2 and makes this whole thing work. What I want to do today is show you a multi-cell example of an array formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight first the area where I want my formula to end up. And then I'm going to write a formula that just says equals, and then I'm going to take all of these cells times all of these cells in column E. So that's my formula. And again, it's an array formula. So for the array to work, control, shift, and enter. And look what Excel did for me. It put the brackets in, equals D2 to D17 times E2 to E17. And this formula is the same all the way down. Notice how this formula changes. Remember, this is just a plain old ordinary Excel formula, D2, E2, D3, E3, all the way down. This formula, in contrast, is the same all the way down. And sometimes that may be helpful for you to make darn sure that this is consistent across all the formula and you didn't insert a, a row afterwards and somehow for some reason Excel didn't pick up, you know, this should really be D6 times E6, for example. These formulas are all the same and it, the consistency and the simplicity of it may help you in some of your spreadsheets. The trade-off to this formula is if I want to delete these normal Excel formulas just because, I can do it. If I wanted to do these formulas, Excel says, no, it's part of an array. I'm not going to let you change part of an array. You can change all of the array, but what you can't do is change part of an array. I want to talk in the next Excel video about some of the, you may see as limitations, some of the rules around changing what's going on in an array, what you can and can't do with these array formulas, how to change them, expand them, delete them, whatever else you want to do with array formulas. Stay tuned next time, and that's where we're going next. Thanks for watching.